Hello, gentlemen. It's been a while. Sorry for my hiatus. I don't have much of a good excuse. To get back into the flow of things, I chose another difficult topic in aviation, and that topic is Coffin Corner. There are tons of other videos on YouTube explaining Coffin Corner, but I haven't yet found one that describes Coffin Corner correctly. I probably sound like a pretentious, well, you know, for saying something like that, but it's true. I can't seem to find a video on YouTube or anywhere else that describes Coffin Corner correctly. And I'm going to explain and prove to you what I mean in this video. The general understanding of Coffin Corner is correct. As the airplane goes higher, the operating speed envelope begins to shrink. Your low speed mop buffet begins to increase while your high speed mop buffet begins to decrease. I suppose they call it Coffin Corner because you're being cornered into your marginal speed envelope. I have about a 35 knot spread between upper amber and lower amber. Now, you're not going to mock tuck immediately as you hit those limits, but the general trend is the same. Your high speed limits and your low speed limits are encroaching closer and closer. Also, take a look at the angle of attack of the airplane. It's currently at 3 degrees. Take the difference between the flight path vector and the flight director. There are two speeds associated with coffin corner. One is your low speed mock buffet. The other is the high-speed Mach Buffet. I'm going to start talking about the high-speed right now. It's the speed at which shockwaves begin to develop above the wings and induce airflow separation. The airflow separation affects the downwash angle, which in a sense affects the tail, which means it changes your pitch momentum to nose down. This is the most commonly accepted explanation. There's a counter argument to the mop tuck explanation I gave. High speed supersonic canard design airplanes, they shouldn't follow this mop tuck explanation that I just gave. If anyone wants to have the discussion, I'd be up for it. Low speed mop buffet is one of the most misunderstood, problematic to explain concepts I have seen in aviation. People will say that the low speed mop buffet involves stalling. It does not. As the airplane begins to slow down, the airplane loses lift. The pilot is going to do something to compensate for that loss of lift. He's going to pull back on the stick, increase the angle of attack. What does increasing the angle of attack do to the airflow flowing over the wing? It accelerates the airflow. Remember, this airplane is already moving very fast. An increase in airflow acceleration might actually bump it past the speed of sound. And when that happens, you got it, gentlemen, shock waves. And what do shock waves do to the airflow pattern about the wing? It induces airflow separation, which causes the nose to drop. I'm going to do a very quick crash course on stalls. X axis is angle of attack. Y-axis is coefficient of lift. Pull back on the stick, CL goes up. Pull back again to 10 degrees, CL goes up. Pull back some more, CL goes up. Hmm, I'm noticing a pattern here. You pull back 20, CL should go up. Pull back to 25, it should go up, right? As you can see, at 25 degrees, the coefficient of lift starts decreasing. So there's a point somewhere in between, typically around 17 degrees, where you get your CL max, or your maximum coefficient of lift. The typical stalling angle of attack is 17 degrees. So if an airplane is at 40 to 50,000 feet and approaching the low speed mop buffet and is not at a pitch attitude of 17 degrees, how could he possibly be stalling? Because the stalling angle of attack does not change with altitude, and at that altitude, airplanes are still maintaining 1G flight. Is this airplane anywhere near its 1G stalling angle of attack? I'm going to summarize the contents on Coffin Corner. Low speed mock buffet, high speed mock buffet. I'm going to start with number one. 
low speed muff buffet. It does not occur because of a stall. If that were true, the airplane would arrive at low speed mop buffet near 17 degrees angle of attack, which it does not. Realistically, you'll be about three or four degrees angle of attack, maybe a little bit higher. Number two, high speed mock buffet. As you increase your forward velocity, the airflow accelerates over the wing and causes a shock wave. That shock wave induces airflow separation. That could cause a phenomenon called mock tuck. If you find yourself flying near a coffin corner and are not comfortable with the very tight speed spacing, the best thing that you can do is decrease your altitude. That will very quickly increase your speed margins. That's all I got for tonight, gentlemen. You know the drill. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. And if you loved it, please leave a lengthy comment in the comment section below. Also, if there's somebody watching who disagrees with what I said in my video, please write that in the comment section as well. I'll make sure to read it and get back to you ASAP. Once again, thank you for watching.